Today we're going to be checking out 20 of the most incredible science experiments you can do at home. And these are genuinely incredible. You don't want to miss any of them. Kicking it off. And I've had a little sneaky peek of these. Genuinely, they're so sick. At number one, look at this. He's just making like a giant candle out of tiny little things that had water on them. My mind is already blown. We got ourselves loads of like ink spikes. Look at this, and it like reacts to magnets, and it creates this incredible looking shape that you just wouldn't see anywhere else. We've also got self more magnets, a little bit of lint, and a battery. It's gonna put the lint. Oh wait! Whoa. He just touched it. He literally just touched the battery. Look at this! It's got like an electrical fire craziness going on just from it touching the end of a battery if your brain isn't exploding right now from incredibleness it will do because they just keep on getting better look at that it's so satisfying clear glue okay pour it in of course if you want to try any of these at home make sure you get supervision but the idea is you can do them at home yourself. Put in a little bit of food coloring. Any food coloring you like, I'd go for blue. What color would you guys go for? A little bit of baking soda and water. Keep on mixing it up. Okay, what the heck? Is this like some sort of slime or something? Iron filing. Oh, okay, so that's probably like some magnetic properties in there as well, I reckon. Oh my gosh, it really is like super, super sticky, gunky craziness. Okay. Dude, what is about... Wait. Wait. Dude, the iron filing is like eating the magnet. This crazy gunk is like alive. Look at that. What the heck? It's like something sent out of space from aliens to try and take over the world. Oh my gosh. It's consuming everything. That is incredible. Oh my gosh. Look, he's controlling it. You think it's alive with the way that it's moving up? I'm a little bit scared. I can't lie. Oh, we got a balloon. Oh my gosh. Okay, got loads of spikes. Dude, oh, you see this? We've, we've seen this before in world record attempts where people lean on spikes. If you evenly distribute the pressure across all of the spikes, it doesn't end up popping it. It doesn't make sense when you look at it. But when you think about the science behind it, you may even learn about it in school. It actually works. Oh my gosh, loads and loads of sodium and water going into the pan together there. Heating them up. Heat, 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 heat. What, wait, what the heck? It's gone to clear water. Okay. It's got a little... Whoa. Okay, there's little bits on the side of the pan. So that mix was done on purpose. Leave it to cool down. Oh! Oh! Dude, I told you this is crazy! Look at that! How, where, who, what? Look at that is incredible. It looks amazing as well. It looks like something Superman would find on some sort of kryptonite island. You can even put your finger in it as well. <gasps> oh my gosh. Just when you thought you knew everything about the world, you watch science experiments like this that are so simple and nothing makes sense anymore. But it's so cool. Moving on to a bottle. A little bit of piping. Okay. Gonna... See a little hole into the edge. Perfect for the tubing to go in to create a very sealed tube. We're then going to go ahead and put in some, is that some dry ice? I think that's some dry ice into the water. Pump out all of the air. Yo, you create like a little funnel. Okay. Oh, what are this? What? He's creating real life air bubbles. This is so cool. Shout out to Crafts for Kids for putting all of these together in a video because they are just so fun to watch. I haven't been in a science lesson for a long time, but this makes me want to go back to school just to learn how all of these things happen. All right. We've got three different sets of glasses and different things, and they're all going to be placed inside water and mixed up. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, so all mixed together. Created a... Wait. Wait. Did he make a bubble from that? It's not breaking. Is this the world's strongest bubble ever created? 
Dude, why aren't all bubbles made like this? There's probably a reason, but look at that. They're so strong. That's awesome. I'm going to get a little bit of liquid and rub it around the edge of a bowl filled with water. Put in a load of ice. Cover the top with the same liquid from earlier, but using a lace. Dude, they're creating the biggest... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Imagine having a whole room filled with that dry ice smoke. It would look incredible. And when it's a giant bubble, it looks even more impressive. Wow, my mind is loving this. If you're loving the experiments, hit that thumbs up button. Show this video some love, guys. How cool is all of this? And they're not even finished. Okay. We've got ourselves water. <gasps> is it frozen? What the... What is that? Is it ice? What the... Oh... It's like the first experiment. is creating solid from water and air. This is defying everything I've ever known about science. Okay, got a battery. Love heart. A few magnets at the bottom, it looks like. Wait, is this is going to infinite spin forever? Oh my gosh, the infinite spinning device. Oh, he's made even something even cooler. Little top hat. Dude, that is so cool. I want one of those on my desk. How awesome would that be? It spins forever and ever, and it looks so cool. Oh no, the hat fell over. He broke it. Wait, what the? This guy's not only a science genius, but he's a genius builder as well. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Next up, he's just grabbing some bottles from his garden, as you do. Three giant glass bottles. He's got a hose. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Filling them up with just, I guess, even rainwater or tap water. Question is, what incredible thing is going to be happening next? In goes one straw. That's a big straw. A very big straw. Tying it down so it can't go anywhere. Very important. Grabbing the other bottle. I'm going to let... Oh, it's too slow. Oh, I think I know what's going to happen. That's how long it's taken. Look at that. To empty it. So long. Look at this. Spin it around. Oh, whoa. Goes down really quickly like a, like a tornado. And this one. Jeez. Wonder, like, if it's something to do with how fast the air can get up whilst the water goes down. There's something really crazy about that. Look how slow the normal one is. Is it going to ever empty? Eventually it does. Wait, okay. Pour it out. No way, is this water going to stay there? No. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. No way. No. There's no way that's just water. What? How? How? I don't understand. Dude, he literally can't get it to come out. He's got it like tornadoes inside. How did he do that when I want to be able to do that? Okay, pen. Why would you rub that all over your book? Jeez Louise. Wait, what? <gasps> it's burnt it away. The book looks absolutely fine as well. Two plus two equals. No, come on now. What the heck? There we go. That's better. Let's go rid of it again. He never even did the math question in the first place. Who would have thought that a lighter could be so powerful? Got a magnet. Got a little screw as well. Placing it on top. And it's very st strongly held down. Let's go ahead and tie a little bit of string on top of it as well. You know, you know when there's a lot of setup, it's going to be a good one. Okay. Just a red... Okay. Yeah, the can got yeeted. We all know that if you pull it back, that energy's going to continue forwards. And the can got yeeted away. He's got... These, I think these are giant magnets at this point. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! So the magnet at the bottom is so powerful that when it gets to the end, it holds it down. He's even going to go ahead and glue gun it. Oh, a light. Oh, my gosh. So this light gets smashed. Oh, that's risky. That is definitely... Look at that. Oh, my God. 
gosh. The powers of magnets, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, they're the future of everything. Filling up a glass of water. Oh my gosh. Let's so use a little lighter here and burn the edge of it. It's all being burnt. It's all going away. It's all... What the... Wait. What? Okay, it's now just a half plastic glass of water. No, if the water stays in there, I'm actually done. Ah, I won't go beyond the water. The water is all powerful. Hey, look, we've got a little polar bear in the background. Is he part of this experiment? We've got a candle, bouncing it perfectly. Holy, that is really bounced well. <gasps> oh, is this going to start like doing some crazy momentum? Oh, yo, it's like bouncing back and forth each time it's dropping some of the wax. No way. Oh my gosh, he's creating his own automatic. Dude, please do a flip. Please do a flip. Please do a flip. Oh, no flip, but it did go back and forth, back and forth. That was so satisfying to watch. Going to take the wire and get himself a battery. I'm telling you, if I'm learning anything in this video, batteries, magnets, water, they've all got some incredible things I did not know they could do. Okay, he's make, making the perfect coil, straighten out both ends, put them inside each other, nice, wrap it around, make it nice and tight, doing the same with the other one as well, done it on both sides, look at that, you're not going to be able to break that easily, are you? question is, what is he about to do with it? What crazy science experiment are we about to... What the heck? He's okay, scraping off that end. Scraping off that end. I think he's exposing the ends a little bit more there. I'm gonna put it back on the magnet. I'm gonna put it back on the battery. Okay. Little uh, pin. Two pins. Dude, this one's got some setup to it. I'm just saying. Okay, so the magnet is very strong. We're gonna put that on that end. Oh, dude, you think it's gonna spin or something? Oh. Nice. Gonna thread in. Okay. Get the magnet as well, maybe. Put the magnet on the top of the battery. Whoa! Look at it go! Not a single touch push or anything. And it is spinning like an absolute madman. Look at it go. Put some sellotape there, let it do its thing. I'm pretty sure it would spin forever and ever and ever. Oh, okay. Water balloon, pop it. Obviously, the water goes everywhere. Water. Oh, all the pressure stays at that one hole. And you've got like a watering can water balloon. I don't know why you'd ever need that, but hey, it looks cool. It's gradually, gradually sinking. Look at this garden. You know a lot of experiments go down in this garden. That is for sure. Teddy bear. Okay. What's the poor teddy bear ever done to you? <gasps> is that static? Oh my gosh. This man can warp water, ladies and gentlemen. He has superpowers beyond scientific reason that we ever know of. And actually, all these powers came from the teddy bear. So maybe the teddy bear is the one with the powers. Crazy thing is, this is so easy. You could actually very much try at home and fill up your glass of water by making the water literally bend. We're becoming water benders. That was so cool. Big thanks to Crafts and Kids. I love watching your sites. Very much. Click on screen here to keep on watching. Subscribe to the channel for more vids. I'll see you over there.